Wagon people, welcome back again to another beautiful episode of Rembo Buys. Hii ni ile show inakupanga uhondo yote hapa hapa kwa Rembo TV ama pale kwa app ya Star Time Zone. Remember guys, you can always tune in on this show by downloading the Star Time Zone app or getting yourself a decoder. Na leo I'm your host with the most brand Lian aka the Starboy alongside They call me Yanchama aka Nyashu the double H and we have so much in store for you today. So as you know uh, previously tulikuwa tumesha highlight story ya size 8 na DJ Mo vile waliachana so inakurudiana nini nini and the kumekuwa na developments kiasi inasemekana size 8 was spotted mm. in her ex husband's house. Uko uko sure je huyo mtu akoenda kwa nyumba ya wenyewe ikiwa imefungwa akasimama hapo nje alafu akarekoda. Mbona record? That's how it looks like to Mbona me. Mbona post video nyenye amerecord uongo. I'm not sure. Sasa DJ Mo angetoka aseme like who dem jaba jaba. Na bado tukiwa story ya mapenzi na cheating na love nini. Masauti Kenyan boy mwenyewe. Oh, Apparently kuna dem yake alimcheat. Mm-hmm. Na ude mwaka on social media last week aki apologize. Actually it was just this week ikianza. Aka apologize. Makena. Yeah, Makena. Mm. So it's been uh, very viral especially comments za Kenyans na nini cuz Masauti ni <laughs> mbaya ya Masauti is a very good friend of mine. Uh, na nimezoea Masauti ni ule mse upul wale madem you know vitu safi safi sasa sijui huyu alitwana no naye wapi na sijui no alikuwa na cheat nini hapa kwa sababu ude anasaidiwa hiyo goni anasaidiwa first of all let me let me make this very very clear <laughs> masauti is chasing kiki with this girl because yeah. there's no one to explain here at all the record akimpigia au aka realize them ana cheat then the next day hata jangoja ana drop ngoma atamwambia ude please kiki ya Kenya time making sense Hey, First of all, for women I would not advise you to make a kiki no matter how much money you unapatiwa at cheating and you're just there like oh yes I cheated on him I'm so sorry please kuna kitu inaitwa self value Haya why aska na sema ni cloud mimi siko sure what it is but viewers sebu bado muendelee kutupea feedback keep the comments coming and then we'll read them later see yeah, you let us know your opinion on this like ni kiki ama ni kweli 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 Also athletics zimekuwa zikiendelea bado na ah. last week uh, ule demu wetu Mora Mary Mora our baby omwana minto yes. i'm so proud of you Mary Mora you. broke the record for women's 400 meters ilikuwa 400 ama 6 actually world record mm. alivunja world record because hii record ilikuwa imekuwa set na Semenya such a But good thing like she came and broke the record and you can imagine how long we have been waiting for this record to be broken and finally Mary Morad did it yes so, so proud of you yes mm. very very proud na actually vitu zingine kai hizi zinafanya ngono kwa proud kwa Kenya si vitu kai zile statue Anyway, <laughs> I, I knew you were going there but let's continue. <laughs> also bado tukiwa kwa the world of athletics, mm-hmm. the goat himself. Uh-huh. Eliud Kipchoge oh, alienda. Yeah. Ali tour the goat club Manchester United. Nilijua atasema the goat club. That's yes. why I was running. Unajua so, goats are associated with goats. Mm-hmm. Eliud Kipchoge alikwanga na owner wa Enios uh, Investments, mm-hmm. Jim Radcliffe, mm-hmm. wakatua wakaenda waka i think there was like some wakaenda the losing brand team partnership. Manchester United can I watch Manchester United oh my god it's so funny <laughs> Star Times is sponsoring and is coming in as a partner on one of the biggest festival in the Kenyan industry the Kamba Festival Yay. which is going to be held this coming week at uh, the 14th of September at mm-hmm. Carnival Grounds yes Yes, yeah, so ask I give us more details about the event. Well, my favorite Kamba artist is going to be there, Alex Kasau Katombi. I love to go na Bahati Kenya, tuko na kina anaitwa Jekeno Maria. Like there's uh, so many big artists that are going to be there. Kutakuwa na cultural food za nyoo watu wata enjoy like, like the vibe. Eh, hey, niona mtu amesema anataka modoko and I was like Aska lazima. kwanza uliniambia uko single na tuka ukuje huko nikutafikia kaboy kama mwanaume. Ah, mimi na target kaboy kama kamba. No my target is Katombi please. Ah, uh, ndakutafikia mutiso. I am focused. Ama muuo. Ama musioki. Nataka kabindu. <laughs> <laughs> Tukiingia kwa stories za 
Peter Salasia mwenyewe. Ah, please, that's our politician. Yes, Man, Peter Salasia kitu ya kwanza alikuza kambia wa seuta ingineza edibles. Mpunguze banya. Hey. Punguze, muna tumaliza. Watu walisema mtamaliza salasia na shere. Muna fanya salasia na, ana reject bills zote ya nizile mzuri. <laughs> anyway, Peter hey. Salasia and Huda Monroe, our Kenyan socialite, has been having a lot of controversy on social media. People mm. are speculating that maybe they are kind of uh, flirting with each other. Na juzi, no, there are no speculations, they are true. It's true. I mean. Na juzi, uh, Huda ali come out, akambia Peter Salasia, na juu unantaka ni come Kenya. But when you Kenya, these are my conditions. Mm -hmm. What were the conditions, Aska? Condition ya kwanza. Huda li sabi ya sitaki sukuti. <laughs> Nisifiki ya kwa airport. Lipata <laughs> kandundu. Ati natafutua ni kifanyua fanyua even though I'm a very private person. Privacy is key. Anataka kupelekwa kwa presidential suit. She's mm. not staying in just any place. Okay. Presidential suit ya five star hotel. Mm. Condition number three. Selassie mm. atoboke $30,000 ya communication. 13 million Kenyan shillings. Imagine, we're not just... Sia tuna nipeleka yeah. tukai tuangaliane. Asa hii suda mesema... Kwa ni huda? Huda hizi hii suit. Suit mm. inachukuliwa ya nini? Mm. Pe, pesa inaichua ya nini? Mm. Kuna biashara wanafanya na misi elewi? No, 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 no. no. Eh. Huda knows her worth. That is one thing you should underline there. Anajua value yake. There's no way unamtoa maju penya kona biashara zake unamleta Kenya kumfanya bullshit. <sighs> no, 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 no. Okay. And Salasia na Julikana ni mtu wakona pesa. Salasia has money. Very good money. Aneza afford to hood up. Usituangushe. All right. Usuangushe muheshimiwa. I'm not sure. Wakilisha. About that, but Kenyans at home, maybe tell me what you think about this story. Yes, last year, section, na hoda, na pesa, na demands. Watu wa mumias east, wanafaku wa very worried. Why? Pesa ya CDF. Inaenda kwa huda yote. So, Rema recently had a concert in Benin. The performance was amazing. Alikuwa na a very big crowd. Then, sunajua lima fans wanyo napena kuruka jia stage. A female fan jumped on stage to appreciate him. Then my bodyguards were like, "Who's going to handle you, Dem?" Then Remo was like, "No, no, no, no! You don't treat a woman like that." Now, Joey, your story, I'm patiya two million. Patiya with Dem two million naira. Bam, Dem amenda kapoa two million. Sindio. Then, so some male fan, akangali akona, eh, kumbato na poa doa chata mini fa nini? Ibani stage. Oh my God, it was very different. We took our grounds like we're tough out here. So, you know, I thought it was here, sir, and until I saw the video, Remo kicked him. I love my bodyguards, I'm like, ah uh ah, -uh. what is going on? Eh. So this has sparked so much controversy on mm. social media because what was that? Why, why are you treating these different genders differently? Yeah. Well, it's crazy because I think that's double standards. That's very much double standards. Like, me Juni Demi, I Evo Juni Boy. But not just that, we don't have the full story. Maybe there's something this guy did. Because I don't understand how you can just come and kick a fan like that. Is it because he's a boy? Ah, see, see, that's it because he's a boy. Maybe we don't have the full story. Mimi, according to me, I feel like there was something that happened before. Labdo uchele kwa mejaribu marakadhaa na tolewa na sumbuwa na mbaka rema kasema like Buddha toka sasa ishia. Aya, anyway, bado tukio kwa story ya events na concerts, Vibes Cartel anaika event yake. Oh my God, that man. Yes, 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 and the ticket prices are crazy. Ooh, ni mwone so tickets and I was like, thank God I'm not his biggest fan. What? I'm not going to sweat this one. The cheapest ticket in Indana? 16,000 Kenyan, Kenyan shillings. shillings. The most expensive? 1.3 million Kenyan shillings. Yani? Yes, guys. That's how much people love him. And people are buying yeah, these tickets. Yeah, because he's the world boss. People are buying these tickets. In fact, Karibu was sold out. Eh, hey, hi, Sava. It's happening on uko December 31st, so people yeah. still have time to buy the tickets. But I'm still surprised. Kuna mtu atanua ticket ya 1.3 million. Yeah, come for vibes cartel. Meaning ya nunua, meaning ya nunua. You won't even touch this man. He's untouchable. He's I a see big you, deal. You, are, you have experienced the live concert of Vibes Cartel, the world boss himself. Kama una decoder ya Star Times, fika pale kwa dealer, upate decoder, uweze kutazama this and much, much more entertainment on Star Times. And if you have Times. not downloaded the Star Times on app, unangoja nini? You can Wakati watch it anywhere at any time. Any so place. make sure unenda pale app, so una download the app and enjoy life. Yes, and uh, sadly guys, we have come to the end of today's episode. <sighs> Mina sikianga vibatu kiwaacha, lakini itabide tutu waache. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Mm -hmm. I've been your host with the most brandly and aka the star boy. The Comedian Chama aka Nyash with the double H. Yes, you can always follow me on social media, Brian Lian or Lian Kamini on TikTok. 
na tunaweza communicate pale social media to share content to exchange more and more information i leave you guys with the cut video of the day as aska finishes bye